Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday to us all. Um, I am Luther FM. This is my Rave Rover say. Now, um, I ballsed up a bit because I was going to forward the rest of the season. So when I started this episode, I'd have just done a recap of what happened. Because last episode, as you know, we already clinched the, chart, the title. Um, so I didn't see the point in playing the rest of the season. I completely forgot about the Scottish Cup because stupidly on the fixture list... I only had, um, if I show you here on the filters, I only had the championship fixtures on there for some reason. So that's why I got confused last episode when I couldn't see the Scottish Cup games. And then I just completely forgot. So just to recap, since you've been with us, <coughs> we beat St. Johnston 5-0 in the Scottish Cup quarterfinal, which is a hell of a result when you think about it. Um, goals by Musqui, Paulo, Danda. Fleck and Burke so that's um, and I luckily just stopped the holiday as I noticed that we were playing Rangers in the semi-final so I was very lucky um, in the in the meantime we've also won this trust trophy which I don't know what it is anybody from Scotland please let me know so at least we've got our first silverware of, of the save um, and then we've obviously had a few wins in the league we lost a third game of the season in the league so it's still a decent season. We we only lost three games all season so far. Um, but we got Rangers in the quarterfinal. So what I'll do is I'll play this game live. And then whatever happens, happens. Probably going to lose. But you never know. It is the cup game. Um, and then I'll probably just forward these two, holiday these two games. And then we'll do like a general recap. But yeah, I'll just work my way through these as quickly as possible. Um, hope you're all having a nice day. Uh, let me just praise these. We're near the, we're nearer to the weekend than we were yesterday, everyone. So that's good. Um, I'll scout these just in case there's any good players come through that we can sign on freeze. Oh no, Hoyland's injured. Ah, uh, seven to nine weeks. So I can't imagine he's going to be. Playing in the Rangers game, which is a shame. Uh, this this one. There we are. Um, no wonder kids from our team, which is expected at the moment. It would be nice to have one of our bloody hell forty six million. Um, again, the reason why I've got such a high amount of money is because basically the, the further you do in the Scottish Cup, the more money you get. So obviously, you know, it, it makes sense to try and get through as far as you can in the Scottish Cup. Some would say you'd make more money from the Scottish Cup than you do probably from the Scottish Premiership. But I don't know until I know what how much money is in there. It might only be the Scottish Cup that this file focuses on. This player ain't budging, is he? He's not backing down. I mean, look, look, you're not doing very well on training, are you? Uh, yeah, we do need to. Let's see if we can sign him. I tried to sign him before, but he, I think he rejected me, but we'll try again. We'll keep trying. Daily Alley back to full training. That's good. Uh, he'd be probably an interesting signing. We'll just add him to the shortlist for now. So yeah, that's the game that we lost three two. Um, so we're getting through these quite quickly, so that's good. He looks like a really good player. He does. Bloody hell, they've got, they're, doing, they're getting a few Scottish players here. Um, oh no, Hoyland's not Scottish, what am I about? I just looked at Braga and I thought, bloody hell, they're getting a lot of uh, Scottish players. They're not, it's just that one. So ignore me. I do need to make vast improvements as I'm going along. So, there we go. So if I can try, oh, I, will, I always like a free transfer. 
another good free chance there. Old Joseph, he'd be a good signing. Scottish, like he's been capped for Scotland as well, I think. Uh, Maldini injured, three or four weeks. Hold on, let's have a look. Paul Groin, okay. All right, we're near the end of the inboxes now, I think. I oh, know we're not, 44 to go. <laughs> Imagine if we beat Rangers in the next game. I don't think we will. We've got a lot of key players that aren't going to be playing. I want to bring him back, but I feel like he's, he just wouldn't get in the team. Um, right. Let's keep going. Not long now. We are near the end now. Oh, Deli Ali. Oh, that's a shame. God knows what our lineup's going to be. We'll soon find out. No, nah, Hoyland doesn't want to. He's only just joined his... Uh, maybe I can try him this summer. Oh, a lot of players don't want to come to us, but it looks a bit... At least we get Joseph though. Ah, uh, he won't want to come to us. See, that's the problem we're going to have, haven't we? Recruitment. Hopefully we can get Hoyland back on loan then if we can't. Uh, see if we can get him on loan. Oh, no, no, no. We've annoyed Braga, so we'll have to leave it for a bit. Right then, let's have a look. John Fleck against his former team playing. So we've got Ruse in goal, Swanson as right back, Velesco, uh, sorry, Velesco, um, Welsh in defence with Diarte as left back, Ball and Fleck in midfield, Lopez on the right, Dander in the middle, Musqui on the left, and Vaughan up front. So at least we've got Mr. Rafe Rovers up front. Hopefully, we are playing at our ground as well. Oh no, we're not. 51,000, we're playing this at some other stadium. Probably... Hampden Park or whatever, not Hampden Park, you know what I mean, big stadium in Scotland. I'll have a look after the game. Right then, we've got the first highlight to us. Oh, you never know, we might, get, we might be able to upset Rangers. By the way, if you can hear that noise, that's a cat. That is a cat on the car park opposite where my flat is. And I think it's a female cat in season. But she keeps meowing really loudly. Very annoying. So I apologise if you can hear that. Hopefully you can't. And I'm just, I've just i just said something that makes me look like a madman. Um, but yeah, I can hear it. So I'm assuming you can hear it as well. Anyway, Rangers with the ball now. Ah, 1-0. Well, no. The cat jinxed us. Right, I'll throw in. At least we're having a few highlights in our favour, so that's a positive side. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was a good shot by Swanson, I think. No, it wasn't. It hit the side net. It was a terrible shot. I thought the keeper got a hand to it or something. Right, let's keep encouraging for now. I might get a bit more shouty shouty after half time. If we keep it at 1 0, I'll be alright with that. The fact that there's a bit of drizzle might help us as well. Right. We do need to up our performance in the second half, I think, if we've got any chance of doing well in this. So if I just demand a bit more, see what happens from that. We've got a lot of players here not performing well, especially Lopez and Muskie and Vaughan. So maybe in about 10 minutes' time, I might think about taking them off. Actually, I'm going to have to take off Lopez now because he's tired. So we'll put on Burke, maybe. Yeah, put Burke on. Uh, uh, ignore that one. Okay. Good defensive play there by us. And now we've got the ball. 
Lopez, who's very tired, maybe he can contribute. No, he can't. He's knackered. That was a terrible... He just wants to get off the pitch now. Good tackle. Welsh wants to do well against the uh, Rangers as he's a Celtic player. Oh, God's sake, Swanson, what are you doing? <sighs> Penalty to Rangers. If they score this, it's game over. Oh, we've got VAR. I didn't realise. Oh, there you go. I assume VAR is in, in the Cup games. It's not in the Scottish Championship games. Maybe we've got that to look forward to in the uh, Scottish Premiership. Ball. Let's try firing up the players. Oh, beautiful little pass in here. <gasps> oh, that was our chance. That was our one chance, I think, to get back in the game. That was unlucky. Even though Rangers have been the dominant team, you know, there's always a chance we can get a goal. Uh, Muskri, you're coming off though because you're tired and you're not playing very well. Uh, same as you, Fleck. Uh, Dander. I think we have to keep you on because we've got... Actually, I'm going to do this. And then once they're substituted, I'm going to swap. There we go. So we'll just do that. Excellent. Right. Vaughan with the corner. Oh, it's positive though. It's good. It's good. We're building up a bit of momentum now. Right, let's try encouraging. Ah, uh, Rangers got a free kick. We head it out, luckily. They still retain possession though. <clears throat> Come on. Ah, oh, game over. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Have we got a look on our on our side again? Yes, we have. Good. Come on, we've still got a chance. As long as there's breath in our lungs, we've still got a chance. <coughs> Talking of breath, I'm still leeching. I'm not 100% yet from that cold. So I apologise if you're in coughing. Um, I think we're running out of time here. Come on. Ah, uh, we done well though, considering who we were playing. Playing one of the two top teams in the Scottish League, the whole Scottish Leagues. So we did very well. We got 50. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's hilarious. It's getting hilarious at this point. What would we have what, what really got if we got, oh my God, imagine what we'd have got if we got to the final. Look at that bank balance. That is ridiculous. Our finances are going to be 120. <laughs> oh my God. I love this. This is hilarious. Oh. Absolutely hilarious. All right, I'll just forward it to the next game. And then I'll holiday it, I think. <coughs> I'll instant result it, as I say. Uh, he'd be pretty good, wouldn't he? Oh, we love it. Uh, he won't come to us. I'm to the shortlist though, you never know. I love a bargain. Uh, he'd be pretty good. I feel like we're right for goalkeepers though. Mm, no. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're bloody... I forgot to turn this off. You need to click on that before you start anything, because otherwise it keeps sending the same scout reports. I was thinking all these players that they're, uh, they're uh, let me know about. I was like, oh no, he's familiar, he's familiar. Oh, they're all on my bloody shortlist, aren't they? Right. Another French player. Last French player we had as right back did quite well. Um thought it was it wasn't that long ago and I can't remember his name now. He was the player that I was upset about as well that was leaving. I'm gonna have a look because it's gonna bug me otherwise. Uh why that clause. Oh, I don't know why it does that. It's such a pain in the bum. Right, look at transfer history. And how's Dabrowski? How's Dabrowski doing? Not doing that well. Do I bring him back? I think I might bring him back for nostalgia reasons. I like I liked him, even if he doesn't play. Who else? Bolde. That was it, wasn't it? Bolde. How was he doing? Was it Balde? No, it wasn't Balde. What am I about?
Because you had a Losky leave. That was it. Faye. Oh, I miss him. So I bring him back for nostalgia reasons. He only played one game last season. I need to bring him back. It needs to be done. Bringing the band back together. See, he's happy to be emergency backup as well, which is good. Oh, no. How can you have only just... You've been there all bloody year. Oh, we'll bring you back eventually. You'll come back. They all come back eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next season's transfer budget is going to be 20 million. We're going to have 100% transfer revenue as well, which is good. Uh, let's see if we can do that. And then let's get a new contract. Let's see if we can get a new contract. I think we need, uh, I think we're justified in asking for a new contract. We've got them promoted. Hugo Alba, Jordi Alba's son, I assume. Uh, we'll add him. I think I've got him in my um, Barcelona Twitch save. His dad's, I've got his dad back at Barcelona as well. So we've got Dabo coming in from Forest Green Rovers. <clears throat> he could be, Dabo could be the new uh, Collins Fay, couldn't he? <coughs> right, we've been offered a new contract. I'm just going to see if I can get four and a half. Yeah, there we go. Happy, happy days. Yeah, nice little, uh, nice little house in, in, uh, wherever Rafe is. <laughs> in Rafe, sorry. I don't know why I got confused then. In Rafe. Um, I see Rafe, Rafe is a real place. Please, please don't hate me if I've got that wrong. I read it. I read it at the start, didn't I? At the bloody start of the same. I don't, let me have a look. I feel like I've got this wrong. Right, I'm just googling it. Rafe Rovers. Where's their Wikipedia page? You can't see this, so don't worry. It's a Scottish club. Ah, fit Fife. I apologise. I'm so sorry, Rafe Rovers fans. Kirk Caldy Fife. There you go. I can get a nice little house in Kirk Caldy. Right. Just going to do that. And then I'm just going to do this. Instant result. There we go. Like so. So we drew that game. Right. What I'll do is I will keep progressing through this to the last game of the season as quickly as possible and then I'll instant result that and then I'll call that a day for this episode and then tomorrow's episode will be focusing on bringing more players in etc oh I should have looked at that so I did have a youth intake that I probably completely forgot about he is not worth keeping he is worth keeping. Um, he's not worth keeping. He is worth keeping. He's not worth keeping. You know what's going to happen next, don't you? Oh, Gordon Strachan's great grandson, maybe. He's not worth keeping. Poor Gordon. Is he related to any of the Strachans? Mm, no. I know that Gordon Strachan's son's called Craig Strachan, I think, from what I remember. Uh, he's not worth keeping. I like the fact that they're very Scottish names like Strachan and Todd. He's not worth keeping. He is worth keeping. He's not worth keeping. I feel like I'm singing it. He's not worth keeping. He's worth keeping. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Definitely not. I like the uh, the broad, the different nationalities as well. We've had a few Aussies, a few Canadians. 
be Welsh. I don't think we've had any uh, standout ones though out of them. Nobody like there was some decent ones, but nobody major. The aim is to try and improve the all the facilities and coaching. I think the facilities and coaching are pretty good though for Sc for the Scottish League. Can we have a quick look. We do need to get a bigger stadium. So we've got great training facilities, great youth facilities. We can obviously improve them still. Uh, exceptional coaching, academy coaching, exceptional youth recruitment. So obviously as I've been going on in this save, I've been improving the facilities. Um, so that helps. Stadium. Build new stadium. If that fails, expand the current stadium at all costs. And get more coaching. Get more coaches in. We've got 62 million in the bank. There's more than enough to build a new stadium. I wonder how much money you get for winning the Scottish Championship. We'll soon find out. So we can have more coaches. Well, that's good. <gasps> oh, pardon me. I apologise. Moaning about his playing time because I changed his playing time, so he's not happy. Maybe we can sell him. Uh, have we got any... Oh, sorry for burping there. By that pause. Right, what was I going to do? I get so confused sometimes, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. What was it? Where was it? Staff. Staff. Job centre. Uh, assistant manager. Goalkeeper coach. Coach. Fitness coach. There we go. Right, we'll peel that. I'm hoping the Scottish Premiership's not that strict with foreign players. Because I feel like over the years, the Scottish Premiership, with Hearts and like before that, Rangers and Celtic, they've always known to have, obviously, like Scottish players, but a lot of foreign players from different countries as well. And I want to keep that. I'm hoping that the restrictions aren't very high. He'd be a good player to have just because I can call him Precious, my precious. I've got to sign him for that reason alone. Think of the content. Probably won't come to us there. Uh, he'd be a good signing, wouldn't he, up front? I want Collins Fay, but Collins Fay doesn't want to come to me. Let's see if he'll, if he's changed his mind. No. He'll come to us eventually. We'll bring you back. I want him back as a coach or something eventually. Ah. Uh, can't sign Precious. Can we get him in on loan? Let's see if we can get him in on loan. Probably won't let us do it now. No. Right. Let's have a look at him then. Uh, unambitious, which is not a good sign. Low determination, not a good sign. He's got really good attributes to start with though. Hopefully we'll get him in a mentoring group. Uh, where's training? Where are you? Training. Mentoring. There we go. Let's just tinker around with this as well. There we go. Uh, got another player. Fairly determined, so at least his personality is pretty good. I think that was it. I don't think there's any more. Oh, what's going on here? Ugh, okay, there we go then. Happiness. There we go, important player. Are you happy now? Yes, he is. Yeah, that solves that. They need to get rid of this on Football Manager because it's pretty counterproductive. It doesn't really, it shouldn't really make any difference about playing time and how much of a difference it makes to the player's morale. It's just one of them little features that, that Cy Games and Sega have put on there. Just to be seen to be doing something. There's a lot of like ninety percent of it's just faff. As far as I'm concerned, I hope FM twenty five is similar but better. I hope it's not. We're going to completely change everything, and it's going to be for the worse. So we'll see. 
What was that I saw about? We set the record. Oh, there you go. So we're closing in on a new championship record for points accumulated in a single season. The current total of 90 points leaves them tantalising close to the place. So um, the previous one is 91. So if we win the next game, we're beating a, we've made history again. So um, we broke records for the club, I think, for the longest win streak. We nearly broke it twice in the same season, but we come and stuck, didn't we? Um, we, we might break the, re uh, the record again. So we'll see. Um, we've asked to appeal the Dabrowski and uh, Manish Billy work permit. So I hope that comes back in our favour. Come on, let's have a new stadium. Ah, oh, that's a shame. You at least let us extend the stadium. Expand the stadium, I mean. A modest upgrade with a large... It's not a large... Oh. So we're only going to have 8,000 fans max in the Scottish Premiership when you've got other stadiums way bigger than that. And we, It's not like we haven't got the money. That's poor. I'm annoyed by the owners by that. That's, that shows poor ambition by them, I think. Right, we've got this player in. Uchi Ik Piazi. I'm just going to call it Uchi. Uchi, Uchi, Uchi. Bloody hell, I forgot we had Peter Reed as our technical director. His work permit was rejected, but we still signed him, so hopefully we can play him eventually. Right, last game of the season. Can we beat a record? I'm just going to instant result it, though. Bloody hell, Harry Arter's still there. He needs to be gone in the summer. He was a waste of a signing, he was. Yay, we won. So we've broken the record. We left with 93 points for the season, 32 points more than De Perma. Uh, that's good. Right then. Let me just forward it one more day, see if it comes up about the record being broken. Probably won't. Bloody hell, 26.25 million first place in the Scottish Championship. Unbelievable. We've definitely got enough money now. Come on. It's how it gets. Hopefully when that option comes up again, they'll agree. Because um, I'm hoping by that point, well, we would have played a few home games in the Scottish Premiership. Um, and then we might be able to convince them because of that. So anyway, right, that's the end of the episode. And I'll be back. So I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with the transfer window summing up. Um, what I'm going to do is going to forward a few weeks in the game and then come back and let you know about anything that's come up. And then we'll take it from there, really. So, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye.